Hi everyone, um, I'm Frank Hansen with Iowa Realty and I'm here today with Nan Earl, owner of Nan's Nummies in Valley Junction in West Des Moines. Welcome Nan. Thank you. Um, tell me a little bit about Nan's Nummies. When did you get started? Um, I got started in 1988 down at the downtown Des Moines Farmers Market. Oh wow, and what were you, what were you selling down there? Were you selling candy and? I was selling about eight kinds of cookies. Oh, okay. And then um, when did you open in the store in West Des Moines? Um, the following year I opened and it's been about almost, it's going on 33 years now. Wow, <laughs> that's a long time to be baking cookies and yes. selling candy. So uh, how many varieties of cookies do you have? Oh gosh, um, cookies now, probably over 15 varieties and we have brownies and bars and Dutch letters. And then I expanded over the years into kettle corn and chocolates and truffles and jelly bellies and fudge. Um, we still oh, make wow. all the cookies and fudge from scratch. Yeah, and what's, uh, like what, what's your flavors of fudge? Oh golly, at one point I had 40 some flavors, um, but oh, now goodness. we've we've kind of pared it down to the top 20, uh -huh. top 15, something like that. But the most popular is still chocolate and chocolate walnut. Is it really? Yeah. Do you use, do you use black walnuts or regular? No, walnuts? no, I don't get much call for black walnuts. I get maybe one or two requests a year, but um, just regular English walnut. Yeah, cool. <laughs> well, um, what did your store used to be years ago? Um, it used to be a soda fountain, and there was a soda fountain across the street too, cause, so it was kind of like competing soda fountains. I've seen pictures of it, and before that, I don't know what it was. Oh, wow. I was, we were talking earlier, and I was saying that my grandfather used to drive a bus, and every once in a while, he would babysit me, and I'd just ride on the bus with him, and I think, your store was one of the places where they had the West Des Moines turnaround. He would go from West Des Moines to the east side. And yeah. we'd always stop at the little soda fountain there and uh, go inside and get something to, uh, a little treat. Yes. Because he had to wait there for a certain amount of time. But um, so how many people do you have working for you then, Ann? Um, it kind of depends. Sometimes it's seasonal, but at a minimum six, a maximum about 10 or 11. Oh, wow. Do they do most of the baking right there in the store? Well, I have one full-time baker and uh -huh. one full-time uh, Monday through Friday counter person, and then the rest are all part-time. Um, I have one part-timer that makes the fudge and one that makes the, um, the, well, one that dips the chocolates, one that makes the Dutch letters. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, uh, basically two full time and all part time. Are these um, all uh, old family recipes or? Yeah, yeah. Some, a couple of them are my mom's recipes. I used to beg her to bake growing up, and every Christmas she baked like crazy and handed out to all the. Remember the milkman and the paper boy? And, oh yeah. And uh, all the neighbors, of course. We bake about sixty varieties every Christmas and and fill up trays and pass them out. Wow. And I just couldn't wait for Christmas to roll around to bake. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's certainly, uh, I, not that I would um, admit it, but I just love cookies and fudge and probably eat too much because you can't see it in this photo, but it seems like I'm getting a little stomach on me. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's kind of my favorite thing is sweets. Yes. So, um, what have you seen happen down in Valley Junction? I know things have changed down there a lot over the years. Yeah, um, I've seen just about everything. <laughs> um, yeah. In 93, of course, we had the big flood. I had two and a half oh, feet yeah. water in my store and I was closed for 30 days. Um, my landlord was really good about helping me get open and all the volunteers uh -huh. from, from all the different states were great. And then I've seen road construction and um just 
various things. Um, right now they're replacing the brick pavers on the sidewalk. So there's a little more construction oh. down here, but everything's open. And uh, this pandemic has been the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Right. But yeah, we're right in the middle of that now. But um, the uh, you said you had how much water in your store? I had two and a half feet. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So wh what did they do to clean it up? Um, luckily, we saw at the water, we had about 10 hours to get things out. So friends and neighbors came and helped and we pulled everything out that we could out of there. Oh, the only yeah. things I left in was my stainless steel stuff like tables and shelving that I could really clean off. Mm -hmm. And then um, the landlord had to come in. We had to strip out the flooring, the carpet, and put in new carpet. So, there's a section of wall he had to replace. Um, oh, wow. Just, yeah, my walk-in freezer uh, was kind of sitting tipped when I went in because oh. the water had forced its way in. And it, it's a big styrofoam box, basically. So it had yeah. exploded. But uh, there's just a lot of cleanup, and you would have to clean things an average with bleach water an average of three times before it quit growing mold. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it was more like a swim in freezer instead of a walk in freezer, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. But they all, they've corrected all that, and that shouldn't happen again. Well, hopefully, if the levees hold, we'll be okay. Good, good. Well, you might tell everybody where you're located in Valley Junction. Um, we're on the corner of Fifth and Elm, and address is 501 Elm, and we've got a big red and white stripe of awning around the building, so we're mm -hmm. easy to identify, and we've been there so long now, we're kind of a landmark, and I'm becoming one of the old timers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, if they were to call an order, can they call an order? Yes. Candy yes. and cookies? and Yes. Um, we, we, uh, you can call 515-277-2201 uh, and place an order, or you can just walk in. Um, we're open seven days a week. So, oh, wow. um, yeah, we're open uh, Monday through Saturday, nine, uh, let's see, Monday through Saturday, 10 to 530 and Sunday, 12 to 5. Uh -huh. And uh, about half the businesses are open on Sunday down there. And we do a booming business on Sunday because we are open. So it's one of right. our busier days. Right. Well, um, I will be down there a little later and we'll take a look at the store and uh, give people an opportunity to see the operation. But um, okay. until then, uh, thank you very much for being here today. Okay. Hi, Nan. Uh, here we are at the shop. And um, you want to tell me a little bit about the place and show me around? Um, I've been here... 33 going on 33 years uh -huh. and you can kind of show me this, around if you this would this is our fudge case and it's kind of a mess right now fudge maker but, comes in tonight to replenish tell me about the fudge uh we make each pan from scratch one at a time um we don't make it from a mix it is all from scratch mm -hmm. so cool and then we dip things in chocolate these are our chocolate dipped items uh-huh. Uh, we use a really high quality milk chocolate. We dip orange slices and nutter butters and pretzels with nuts and caramel and all kinds of stuff. Oh, nice. And then these are our, our, our main thing is these two cases. Um, it's what we're known for, our baked goods, our cookies and brownies and bars. And we have the biggest Dutch letters in Iowa. We make those all by hand, one at a time from scratch. <laughs> now, those people that don't live in Iowa and don't know about Dutch letters, why don't you tell well, them a little bit about it? Well, it's a pastry it. and it's shaped like an S and it is filled with almond paste and with sugar on top. And the S, it's a Dutch thing. And we have a Dutch community here in Iowa and that's where it came from. But um, the S stands for Santa Claus or Santa Claus as we know it. Oh, nice. So they're just traditionally in an S shape. Uh -huh. So. Oh, well, I thought maybe they would be different letters. No, well, you but can, they're... but it's since they're filled, it's real hard to do a joint. Like oh, a I B see. Or, right. You know, a Z. Um, so an S is a smooth curve, so right. it doesn't break open and spill out all the. So that's why they went with an S. <laughs> well, it was for Santa Claus. It was for yeah. Santa. So. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, what do you have over here in the uh, case? We have. Uh, 
I'm proud of my chocolate case. Um, I'm a chocoholic and I order chocolates from about six or seven different companies. Uh -huh. I may pick a cherry cream from one company and a raspberry from another because I like them better. You know, I'm real selective about my chocolates. Right. So we have really, really good chocolates and are, they're about the best price in town. So um, they're $18.95 a pound, which, you know, right. most of them are in the high 20s up to $50 a pound. So. And do you do gift baskets or we, gift boxes? We don't do boxes? gift baskets, but I have half pound boxes and pound boxes. You, we prefer you select your own. We don't have them pre-made uh -huh. um, and we can fill them up for you put a ribbon on them or whatever you want to do with that. Right. So if someone were to come in and want to get a gift box for somebody that... Yeah, we can do. Yeah. We can do, um, like I say, we have our half pound and pound boxes and, okay. and we have bigger boxes too if you want to do. At Christmas, sometimes people come in and get five pounds at a time. Oh, but, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah. I, yeah. I noticed you have a lot of chocolates in here. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is our truffle case. We carry three lines of truffles. Um, one is from um, uh, California, and one is from Vermont, and one is from Texas. Oh, and, nice. Uh, those are again. I taste tested everything and <laughs> hand chose what I what I wanted. Right. And then on the bottom two shelves of this case is our sugar free chocolates, which sugar free oh. chocolates are hard to come by, and I've also taste tested them, so they're pretty darn good. Yeah. So. Oh, nice. And then you carry Jelly Bellies? Yeah, and... we carry, these are all of our bulk candies. This is the bulk wall. And right now we're trans, uh, transitioning from Sixlets. We had every color they made of Sixlets. And we're transitioning to other bulk candies. Like right now I've got Jawbreakers and Spree. Remember Spree from Jawbreakers? Oh yeah, right. So we'll be putting in a lot more bulk candy in here. And then of course the, the, our wall of beans, um, we have, 48 plus flavors of oh, Jelly wow. Bellies. <laughs> and we also have pre-bagged Jelly Bellies, um, candy sticks. We have uh, saltwater taffy. Um, I can't even count how many flavors of that. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. We have probably 30 flavors oh, wow. of saltwater taffy. Well, that's great. So, well, thank you again for allowing me to interview you I I, I just love your store and well, thank you um, yeah. believe me you are a staple down on Valley yeah. Junction getting to be an old timer here. yeah <laughs> well thanks again okay Nan. thank you all right bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.